Hello guys, Termex here, and if you are in the phase of Once Human, where you are out of Star Chrome, you're waiting on Star Chrome, you're just sitting on it, you can't get all the blueprints you want from the Wish Machine, what can you do every single week to maximize the amount of Star Chrome you can get? I feel like they have purposely limited the amount that we can get, so we just don't blaze through the game, get all the blueprints in one day, but the first way and the first easy way to actually get Star Chrome is click your escape key, go over into the current scenario scenario then go to season goals you can see here on these encounters they open up with every single phase of the season so if we go here you get 400 600 a thousand week two we get 700 1200 1600 week three we will be getting 4500 and then week four we get 5200 and then finally on the final week we get another 5000 which is actually not too bad so doing all these challenges and they're quite simple all you have to do is click on the phases and see all these here once you do a certain amount you can then claim based on the amount done here just choose the simpler ones anything that's easy uh potions 10 minutes of combat time with deviations catch an electric eel very simple things take pictures find the easy ones and do that every single week so you can get all these rewards for the starcrum the second thing you can do is go to any settlement with these traders where they have the little market thing above their head and what you're going to do is find this guy over here with a barcode on his head we're going to call him barcode head because it's funny once we go into a shop here, you can see he deals with a currency that is called Stellar Planula. Planula? I probably pronounced that right. All you have to do is do the Morphic Hunts, which I do not think are active right now. But the side task, basically anything that's blue on your map that you see here. So if I go here and you look around for a side quest like this, you will get the Stellar Planetaria, as you can see from here. 20 for this side quest. Uh, Some of these you get 15. You get three for the lower level ones, obviously. But go around do your side quest to get this currency and i have yet to purchase it because i've been waiting to make this video for you guys you can see here the season limit for the star crumb crates is eight and they cost 100 per i recommend you buy these out every season you're going to need star crumb to progress in this game the end game literally is star crumb so what we're going to do is use our 800 confirm and we got eight of those crates and it is sold out for the season you could buy controllers for bosses with the rest if you don't want to do it but i'm just going to save them up so i can get as many star crumb crates in the future and if you see attachments you like you could also get those but once you buy those crates go over into your inventory go to special and click use confirm and we just got four thousand star crumb for simply grinding out side missions so yes side missions in this game do have a purpose even though it, you're max level you could farm these get all your star crumb crates for the season and just like that i made that much now the third thing you should be doing every week that i feel like a lot of people know exist but are simply not doing it is doing the extractor mission at your base now what i mean by this is there is a certain thing at your base that you can place down kind of like a gas canister holder and you're able to put certain resources into it to extract more of your star crumb so we have eclipse vortexes get these on the public crisis events and dungeon clears you also get these if you do silos and you claim with controllers at the end i have gotten them to drop from silos you can get the purple ones to drop from work world enemies that are mini bosses or previous bosses but these are very important these cortex you could use 40 per week on a item over there but before i show you that in the first place you need to know about the synthesis bench going into here you can upgrade these cortexes from the normal one so you start off with the level ones you could turn them into the level twos and then you take the level twos and you turn them into level threes the level threes will give you 100 star crumb per and you could do 40 a week so that would be 4,000 star crumb a week and i have two bases i have this base here with all of my stuff a little bit more compact but over here in my build area i have what i call my i guess defense base and what i have here is just a bunch of turrets that me and my friends set up we just hang out here and uh yeah as you can see we have a bunch of turrets pointing at the water because they do spawn here at least for me and then they wrap around but going into here you're going to want to build a thing called a stardust resonance filter if you want to know how to build that you click b go into build mode go to your facilities then go to function facility it is the literal first one very cheap place it down and you will have a defense 
defense mode. So opening up this menu here, you can see if we put in the tier twos, we do not get that much. We only get 85 star crumb per, and I do believe the tier ones is only 60 per. And you have your weekly purification limit, which is 40 of 40, like I previously mentioned. So with the tier two vortex, you can see the defense is three minutes, level 25, two waves, one elite boss, and these are the enemies you should expect to fight. The recommended players is two, but if you do tier three, it immediately increases. Now, if you have one tier three or 40 tier threes, this stuff right here doesn't change. It's always going to be five minutes. For, to my knowledge, it's always going to be level 35 with three waves and the number of lead enemies will change. But even if I added this onto it, nothing is going to change reward wise because we have the tier three being the main leader here. So as you can see, if I were to do all this, I would get 1970 star crumb. Now, regardless of what you're doing, I recommend you only, only purify the tier threes as you're limited to 40 per week. I personally believe it is a complete waste to use tier one or tier twos if you have a weekly limitation and just stick to the tier threes. You and your friends should actually gather up all of your cortexes as a community, your war band, or even better, your hive. Have all of you guys craft tier threes, mix resources with each other, drop as many tier threes as you can for whoever is the main base owner and condense it into one defense because you may be using everybody's resources, but in that same breath, everybody gets that max 4,000 reward, which makes it a whole lot easier. Another thing I should note in the beta, there was certain events that gave star crumb, but to my knowledge from the events tab that I have seen now upon full release, none of these are giving star crumb. It looks like they switched it to stardust source on basically all of these. Unless I'm wrong. No, we have food. We have, yeah, there's no star crumb on at least this current event, which might change in the future, but every event I have seen doesn't really offer star crumb unless you want to go over into the uh, community rewards where like you could bind discord. If you link your discord, you can get 500 right now if you have yet to do that. If you do things like your TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, you get a little bit of star crumb. If you do all of these, you'll get a decent number if you want to proceed on all of that. And I guess one more thing I should note while you're in this events tab, similar to the battle pass, if you did not claim the global event reward, which is available until August 1st, but this video will be up way before then, they hit 300,000 concurrent players, which is a big accomplishment, but they gave us a free 1,000 star crumb once you hit level 15. So once you hit that point in the game, you could hold F here and claim another 1000 and that is what you should do every week if you need any tips little tldr tips for base building see how they spawn the first time around so you could place your turrets adequately i place my turrets all around but they only spawned on two sides so i had to kind of move things on how i did it you can support this with another wall and remove it if you wanted to but i realized that if you put another wall here sometimes the loot that spews out of this if it's completely in case will actually spawn under the floor in your foundations and you can't break the foundations underneath because it's it stabilizes the whole structure so at least until they fix that bug i do not recommend having four walls and a ceiling over this thing because um i had the heartbreaking scenario of losing all the resources my first time around but that is the video guys that is all the ways you can get star crumb week to week as it is the most important resource when you're going into the wish machine if you want to do anything that even if you just want to do the actual hammers with the wish or like most people are doing if you click g go over to the blueprints and just buy the things that you want to use if you guys enjoyed the video it doesn't mean a lot if you hit the like button down below as it does spread out my content to more people in the once human community and make sure to subscribe so you never miss out on another video for me guys stay safe and i will see you all later I'm on the ground.